There are signs a resurgence is rolling through Western Canada. We're just a bunch of people that uh, want to stand up for our freedom. Three weeks after police dismantled the occupation in Ottawa and a month after a border blockade broke down in Alberta, there's anticipation a new truck convoy may next arrive in Victoria at the B.C. Legislature. Enough is enough. We're not taking it anymore. That's despite B.C. already dropping mask mandates and most other COVID restrictions April 8th. In Alberta, protests still fill some Calgary City streets every weekend, weeks after almost all Alberta measures lifted. There are food vendors, there are merchandise vendors. It is a festival. They say they're still rallying for all federal mandates to be dropped, but it's also spurred opposition in the form of counter-protests in Calgary. Move! Move! They were pushed back by Calgary police. Whether they remain visible or not, the sentiments expressed by so-called freedom protesters are difficult to dismiss away. I think things, the landscape is permanently changed. We're going to get a kind of fracturing of public discourse, a fracturing of social sensibility, a common sense of what it means to be Canadian. And as long as public health and vaccination remains a political issue as well as a public health matter, experts say these protests will push on. What we can do is, is control uh, whether or not we uh, flame uh, or amplify those voices. Uh, and my hope is that we've learned some lessons over the last few months. BC and Alberta's provincial leaders stand united against more protests. I. Uh, would suggest that, that maybe people could find more productive ways of uh, expressing their, their frustration. I would just say to these people, goodness me, uh, get a hobby. Still, the vocal minority vows their fight isn't over yet. Lauren Pullen, Global News, Calgary.